Hello, dear viewers. We continue the section of answers to your questions. Hello, dear friends. Hello, everyone. Question. How much interest is there now in the services of the future Sovel Mosh DNE? Is there any confidence that the DNE will be provided with orders? If the answer is yes, then what does it rest on? What does it rest on? We rely on knowing the market laws, the legal framework, the regulatory framework, the decisions taken by the Council of Europe on those international environmental protection programs, signed memorands, and so on. Dear colleagues, after all, you are aware how many times it has been said and discussed that great attention is now being paid to reducing electricity consumption by induction motors, largely electric motors. And for this purpose, the energy efficiency classes have been introduced. And using non-efficient motors has already been banned in many countries. I mean the energy efficiency classes that are lower than I2, I3. But not all manufacturers produce them. Those produced in Europe are bigger and more expensive. We offer the technology in the same dimensions, well, practically the same at the same prices. That is, common sense says that there will be demand for our motors. Common sense says that when you come to buy something, you see two things with the same consumer qualities, the same consumer properties, with the design, with everything that satisfies you. But one product is more expensive, the other one is cheaper. Which one will you buy? The choice is obvious, of course, the cheaper one. Although, if we make conclusions based on the logic of the new Russians, remember the joke when two new Russians ask each other, where are you, how are you doing? That's a good outfit. And your tie is so cool. How much did you pay for it? 600 bucks. Are you stupid or something? Go, there is a shop around the corner. You can get the same tie for 1000. Why are you wearing a cheap one? Well, if we follow this logic to the contrary, then maybe yes. There are some people, of course, who believe that the more expensive something is the better. But I dare say it doesn't work in business. Well, let's take a look at modern marketing, modern sales. In a shop, we see that some product won't sell. The price, say, is 25 rubles. Attention, special offer. The discount is 50 rubles. The original price, 75 rubles, is crossed out. And the product costs 25. It sold well before the reduction, yes. It works. Well, it's psychology, but in the energy sector, it works somewhat differently. Why not? Well, in the domestic sector, anyway. Supply managers try to buy cheaper, save money because their budget is limited, to make it go out of order soon so that you have to go back to buy a new one because there are under the table payments and everything else. Therefore, there are other schemes work this way, but they work for the time being. And then they are destroyed. And plus, what is the benchmark? If your benchmark is the Russian market only, it is not that big compared to what they have in Europe. And they put a lot of pressure on energy resources there, especially in the context of unfavorable weather conditions. Santa Claus came from Russia. Russia is to blame because it is a climatic weapon. Well, a good weapon. It works. Yes, it works very well. It worked magic in relation to the project because the contractual capacity of our European partners has increased. That's true. So, the facts of life, knowledge of the market, and common sense. This is what our confidence rests on. Thank you. Thank you.